So I wanted to tell you guys about my trip to the Bible Museum, which is in D.C. Actually, it's called Museum of the Bible, but it is gorgeous. This right here is my second time going. It's like my favorite museum. Well, it's kind of the only museum that I've been to, but I mean, it's just so nice that I just keep going. <laughs> so as you can see, that was me walking in. This is just like an overview of the different floors and the different levels. Just how gorgeous this place is. It's so state of the art. Uh, so so clean, precise, bright, vibrant. It's just a gorgeous museum. I absolutely love it. But as you can see here, this is the map of all the places, you know, um, where Jesus walked the earth and where, you know, Bible artifacts were found. I can't remember what floor this was on, but yeah. So yeah, the history of the Bible. Now this is actually in the elevator did you see how like it had an actual screen inside beautiful <laughs> so this was another exhibit the coins the shekels you know how you always hear shekels in the bible and the weights and the divers weights. so that's what this section right here was i think this was like on the fourth floor and this is on the top floor so as you can see you can see some of the state buildings the capital or I think it could confuse with some of the, you know, Washington monuments and buildings, but that's what that was. And this was another interesting um, exhibit. It was kind of like the redemptive, redemption kind of exhibit where people that, um, you know, may have uh, did a crime, they actually turned their heart back to God and the people that the crime was against, how they used the Bible and the word of God to actually forgive the person that was like hurting them. And here are some other statues. You know, there go my boy, George Washington Carver. You know, he was a believer. He loved the Lord. He talked about how God gave him ideas, you know, all the adventures he made with a peanut. And here are some other African-American exhibits, parts from the Bible and how, um, you know, the Jubilee singers and all that use the word of God. And this was also like the Martin Luther King exhibit. Um in the Bible Museum. I feel like this was on like on the second floor, but I always really, really like coming to this part of the museum. Cause look how gorgeous this stuff is. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. It's just like, wow. It was a time where, you know, Martin Luther King was talking about being free. And then I really like this part because it also has like Mahalia Jackson singing. And you know, like she was a big voice, like singing voice during that time for the freedom of black people and the coming together of all. But this is also another section of the Bible Museum that I liked. Um, basically how the Bible is incorporated throughout life and how people that from like different countries, how they use the Bible, how like happy and excited they are about actually having the Bible. That's um, like one culture singing a psalm in their native language, just beautiful. Jerusalem as a mountain surround Jerusalem so the love surrounds his people see that's what Jerusalem look like I mean I just think it's just was so amazing like all the stories that you hear in the Bible it's always it was like a section in this museum that kind of brought it to life so you can actually see it for real in live time it's just a beautiful gorgeous museum like I said, very clean, it's scriptures everywhere, it's a bunch of history. You will absolutely not be bored here at all. <laughs> like it's so much to see. You literally can stay on one floor, it's like five, so five or six floors, but you can literally stay on one floor for hours. You you will not see everything in one trip. So this was another part of my favorite rooms. It was called the Illumination Room, where they're showing how they're um, working on getting a translation of the Bible in every language. And for the most part, it's getting filled. I was very surprised to see that, you know, like I think the blue is where they haven't gotten started yet, but it's coming together pretty soon. So that's what this room was. And I just wanted to show you all that so I could see what it looks like on your end. But yes, and, and this was just people from different cultures across the world reading the Bible in their native language. Isn't that so beautiful? So that's what that is. And this was like a little state-of-the-art interactive kind of quiz um, asking about the volumes of the Bible, which you will find in the illumination room. 
Oh, see, so yeah, I got that wrong. <laughs> but yeah, how many languages the Bible was translated in? And that's at 7,100. So it's, it's a lot of languages, y'all. And then here's another one of my favorite scenes where you can actually see the culture, people being so excited to have the Bible translated in their language. And it just really helped me to realize how black sometimes we are. You know, we're used to reading the Bible in our language and just kind of take it for granted when it's like other cultures, other people around the world that don't have the Bible in their translation. But when they get the Bible in their translation, they are so happy and rejoiceful, like rejoicing, excited, like like they won the lottery. And actually... That is what it's like. You know how the word of God is more precious than gold, jewels, and silver, and all that stuff. So we should have that type of reverence, that excitement. When we actually have the word of God for ourselves every day at, you know, at our discretion. And we shouldn't take it lightly. I mean, I'm saying all this because, you know, I'm trying to say it to myself. Remind myself. And you know how scriptures say, you know, keep the word in your heart. Like, literally, that's what we have it for. So So it can become one with us and transform the way that we walk, talk, think, act and treat each other that's what it's ultimately about you know walking in the perfection of christ himself so this is another um part that i really really like this this is like um how galilee looked back in you know the times that jesus walked the earth and i really like this part because you got a chance to see how people lived what it looked like to be on the road and it's just like so beautiful I can't remember what floor this. I think this is on the third floor. And you see that's like the the grapes. You know, that's how they had to make wine and stuff. You can see that there. And I think when it first opened, I think they actually had like live birds and stuff. But, you know, it's been here for a few years. So it doesn't have everything that it was like in the beginning. But it's still very informative you will learn a lot looking at how people lived during that time as you can see the uh the water preserving water uh the diets what people ate how they cooked um the bread and you know a lot of times they they say the word bread in the bible a lot and that's just me in the bathroom i had to show you because even the bathroom was nice it was super clean super nice and that's me in front of um another like interactive exhibit where you, it's like a you get to see the New Testament in movie form. So that's just like the outside part. And that's me eating my Zatar fries. So that was basically it. Oh, yeah, because upstairs they actually have a um, restaurant so you can eat there, too. So that was my trip to the Bible Museum. I really hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog of the experience. But also, if you have not been to D.C., to the Museum of the Bible, you need to go. This is your sign to go. This is your sign to go. You didn't come across this video for nothing, okay? This is your sign to go. I had actually been three times. I mean, one time after, you know, this video. So, you will not regret it. It's just really, really beautiful. Really amazing. It's a nice place to bring, like, your grandma and stuff like that. And it's also, of course, a nice place to bring um, little kids. It's just very good for the family. And I didn't even... You didn't even see half of it. This is just, like... 3% <laughs> of everything that they have there. But other than that, I really hope you enjoyed my little brief vlog. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.